Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero and welcome to Soul Axiom. Soul Axiom is a spiritual sequel to Master Reboot. Like Master Reboot, it features some puzzles, some exploring, and an overall kind of surreal, cybernetic world. Falling. I'm falling into the title screen. That's a new one. Camera's gonna zoom out. It's gonna turn out this is all really just the opening of the next Metal Gear game. Kept you waiting, huh? Well, it seems our main character was a veteran. Might have been a domestic abuser. And... Experiments. Someone's up there. Two people are up there. Gone. So we wake up on the ship, no idea or memories of what we're doing, it's raining, I feel like I'm in Bioshock for some reason, although it isn't, I guess it's a sky ship. Now the concept of this game is, similar Master Reboot, it's, you know, people downloading their minds, or souls, or whatever, and trying to be immoral, and for some reason you go exploring, and something probably went wrong, I have to imagine. This, that, that didn't seem too smart. Painfully... Very painfully, uh, effective though. He moves in a mysterious way. His wonders to perform. He plants his footsteps in the sea and rides upon the storm. So we got the steamship working. So let's go above deck. See what we're dealing with. Pretty. Cybernetic sails. Down we go. Well, we've crashed. Um, a, a bit similar to Mastery, but actually, seems like we have an antagonist. Possibly a rogue AI again. Some kind of angel's symbolism? Looks like we crashed into a desert. The desert of the mine, maybe. Glowing... Glowing neon cactuses. Truly the future. storm is coming. Deep symbolism. Last chance. But David Lynch, actually.
Nobody here. Original natural selection. Do not steal. Broken by Rayo Badger. And extreme super ultimate horse apocalypse. Horse apocalypse. Mega bubblegum edition. On the Sega Genesis. Boop. Beep. That was actually pretty cool. Bartender, I'll have... I'll have a cube. Mystery of the cubes. Actually, I can go up here. Let me take a quick peek. See if there's anything of note. Maybe not. I think there's a way I can get in there. I'm just not... I need to find the door. Or maybe I just can kind of peek in and get an idea. Oh no, it's locked up. It's just... It's just filled out so it doesn't look empty and weird. Gas station's closed. Haunted outhouse. A very, a very nice outhouse. Um, almost revolutionary in how nice it is. I am really amazed. Answer my life questions, Cube. Reveal this to me. The mystery of life is rectangle. Alright. Let's go from a desert into a temple. Things have changed up a bit. Maybe a company symbol. Stupid cliches. Down we go. Congratulations, you've survived Indiana Jones. Here's your hand. Skeletal never it isn't. What makes it corporal and what makes it uncorporal? It's just like I'm getting power over this world. He has given you two hands, one to give and the other to receive. I'm strangely reminded of Breakdown on the sun. Looks like there's some areas to the side. Um, they look a little too far out to run to, but I keep wondering if there's secrets to them. This whole area itself it looks a bit like... It looks like the old 3D modeling they would do. Um, in the late 90s, when people were, you know, just kind of getting used to it. They'd always make, like, little desert temples or water, things like that, and a little fun in the architecture. With that. With that. That lowered the temple. So we're gonna do it on the other side and match this. It 
Simple enough. And then probably... God, do the whole thing though now. Pull this bridge in. Good to go. From what I've seen, there are other powers you get later for more puzzles. So it's not just this phase in and out object things. It gets a little more complicated, I guess. See? Secret of life. Rectangles. Or two. I guess if you would call them that. Even the spears become one. In Elijah. Pixel Moon. JPEG RFX. <laughs> a little bit rate. Couldn't avoid anything better. Systems glitched out. A little pretty though. Alright. Facing out the crystal makes a bridge, and then you phase in the bridge. So phase out. Yeah, a lot of this reminds me of the the old 3D modeling. This has got that vibe all over the place. Like what we um if you ever actually saw the ads for the I don't know if people have heard of worlds, that kind of chat MMO thing. Um, essentially, a lot of the early advertising for it look a lot like this, despite the in-game. Not looking anything like that. The eyes are the window to your soul. It's really a pretty game. Not necessarily in just a graphic fidelity sense, but... Art direction. Art direction's kind of comfy. Welcome to Disney World. There's the Magic Kingdom. Welcome to the world of the future. Face this crystal out so it's not blocking it. Face that one out so it's moving. Block that one. Face this one out. And then pull that one in. And face this one out. You get full power. Look, a, a bridge made out of literal. Pixels and JPEG artifacts. I remember bridges were high res. Graphics are getting a big downgrade. Yeah, it's, it's just got kind of an interesting world. Icarus. weird. It's like a cult. Calm down. It's, it's, his hair is... it's going bald. Symbolic. You're literally doing so baldy got erased from existence. Like that thing sucked out all the high resolution in the hair from him. Like literally sucked out the high resolution from him. It made him a low poly mono without hair modeling. So rogue security eye maybe deleting people I guess. I always worried I was gonna be one of those deaf mutes. Then, whoops, 
missed. There we go. Pull on in. Am I missing something? No, it's going. Thank you for enjoying your time in Epcot. We hope you enjoyed your stay. Some ways are similar. Familiar sight from Master Reboot. All those lights. Each one of them representing Welcome a soul. To Elysia. By now, you've already taken your first steps to immortality. By uploading your soul to the latest state-of-the-art soul provider, you're joining me and thousands of others in a sprawling server where memories and dreams become reality. I'm sure this worked out peachy without any complications. I don't know about you, but there are some memories I'd rather forget, and hundreds I'd treasure forever. Elysia's soul sync system allows you to choose the memories you want to enjoy for eternity, meaning that not only will you be able to relive your precious moments over and over, but also your loved ones can revisit them long after you're gone. Here in Elysia, death has no dominion. You're free to explore your memories to your heart's content, free of illness, pain, or any of your body's limitations. The monorail will be arriving at your soul station momentarily. Please mind your step as you leave the train and make your way to the nearest soul sync calibration unit. Never goes that easy. It's like everything man ever makes is always gonna be flawed because we flawed ourselves. Now and forever. Wisdom. So that's it for my preview of Soul Axiom. This game is currently in early access. I believe it's got quite a bit more content than I experienced in the game. You know, it's always getting updated and whatnot. But, you know, it's certainly not a finished game, so... If you're looking for a finished product and the full thing, you know, always remember the risk of early access. Um, as far as what I thought about the game, it's a very similar Master Reboot. That's why it's a spiritual sequel. It's got some very comfy art direction and feel. The pacing feels a bit slower than Master Reboot. Master Reboot kind of got you into things very fast. Of course, it was also horror-based and a little bit different. And this one's more... I think this one taps into its more exploration roots a bit. So if you're looking for something kind of like zip-zap-boom exciting, I... You know, I, I don't think Soul Axiom will probably be that. But if you're looking for a kind of relaxing indie game that's got some puzzles, a mystery or something, and uh, kind of a unique art direction, then, you know, Soul Axiom might be up your alley. Or you can always go and play Master Reboot which also had the, you know, similar themes. Anyway, so thank you all for watching my preview of Soul Axiom. I'll see you guys later. Take it easy.